So here is a question. What is this repr function in Python and what is the use case of it? So first of all, let's talk about one of the use cases of repr function. And after that, we are going to talk about the repr function in more details. So as you can see here, we have defined a variable called x, which is in a string. And now we are printing this a string and if i run a code you can see in the output we are going to get whatever which is inside these quotes so remember this in python when you print an a string in the output you are going to see whatever which is inside these quotes whatever which is enclosed in these quotes so with that being said could you please tell me what is going to be the output of this one i mean this piece of code so as i've told you in python it is going to print whatever which is inside these quotes and in this case there is nothing so actually it is an empty string and if you run the code in the output you are going to see nothing because it was an empty string but now maybe you say oh i wish there was a way to at least see a kind of printable representation of that nothing of that empty string and maybe you say is there any way to do so and the answer is yes there is some way to do so and for doing so that's very easy you're going to replace this with rep r x i mean a printable representation of x and now if i run the code we can see we get an empty string. So actually, this is a printable representation of that empty string, of that nothing, which we have explained earlier. So actually, this was one of its use cases of repr function. But here is a question. What is exactly repr function doing? So actually, this is a thing that the repr function is going to do. If you pass something to repr, it is going to enclose that something with quotes. But in order to better understand it, Let's take some examples. First of all, let's suppose that we define a variable called x and we store, for example, a number in it. So now suppose that we want to store the representation of x, I mean the rep r of x in a variable called y. So what is the rep r function is going to do? As I've told you, the rep r function it is going to enclose whatever you pass to it in quotes. So in this case, it is going to enclose two in quotes. And after that, you have said that you want to store this in a variable called y. So it is actually equivalent to typing something like this. So could you please tell me what is going to be the output of this piece of code? If I print the y variable, what is going to be the output of this piece of code? As I've told you, when you are printing an a string, it is going to print whatever which is inside those quotes. So you are going to see two in the outputs. So now if I delete this line of code, because as I've told you, this line of code is exactly equivalent to this line of code. So if I delete this line of code, and if I run a code, you can see we get two in the output. But if I print the type of vi variable, and if I run a code, you can see it is a string, because as I've told you, this is equivalent to something like this. And in this case, this two is a string. So here is another example. As you can see, we have stored an empty string into this variable, which is called x. And now if, if we use the representation of this x and we store that in a variable, let's say called y. So the question is, what is this rep r function is going to do? As I've told you, whatever you, you, whatever you pass to this rep r function, it is going to enclose that something with quotes. So in this case, you are passing this. So as I've told you, the rep r function is going to enclose this with quotes. I mean, these quotes and after that i'm storing the result in a variable let's say called y and now if i print the y variable and if i run the code you can see it prints this it prints whatever which is inside the string because if you remember i've told you that in python when you want to print a string it is going to print whatever which is inside those quotes and in this case that whatever which is inside the quotes is this one so that's why it is printing this one in the output and here are two two videos which i suggest you to watch as well and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this